That'll do, gentlemen. And in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, here we have one of the most perfect specimens of the human brain that has ever come to my attention at the university. And here the abnormal brain of the typical criminal. Observe, ladies and gentlemen, the scarcity of convolutions on the frontal lobe as compared to that of the normal brain. And the distinct degeneration of the middle frontal lobe. All of these degenerate characteristics check amazingly with the case history of the dead man before us whose life was one of brutality, of violence, and murder. Both of these jars will remain here for your further inspection. Thank you, gentlemen. The class is dismissed.